all, um, obviously a uh, tough loss for you guys, Cal State LA. Um, you had a really strong fourth quarter uh, though in that game. Um, tell me a little bit about that game, uh, first of all, just uh, what are your thoughts on that one? Um, obviously it's not the outcome we wanted. Um, it took us too long to get going. Like you said, we finished strong in the fourth quarter, but at that point it was too late. So we just got to come and know that we got to play from beginning to end. Uh, why why the slow starts? What's what's been uh, what's been the cause of that? Um, that's a tough one. Um, I think it you know our warm ups. You know we need to be more intense in that in that aspect um, just to get us going a little bit more so that we are ready to go. Um, let's uh, talk a little bit about this weekend. Um, Chico uh, and Stan's loss back to back. Um, first of all, just tell me a little bit about. Um, uh, what your guys' thoughts are as you get set uh, uh, for this uh, two-game stretch? Um, right now we're just focused on Chico. Um, it's one game at a time, and we're just focusing on getting better this week and improving and hopefully coming out playing for 40 minutes strong. Uh, what's the big focus for you guys against Chico? Um, for us personally, we got to work on uh, taking care of the ball better, um, communicating more in defense, um, and just, just playing basketball. <laughs> Now, uh, this back-to-back, -back, um, something you guys do every year, um, but it, what kind of challenges do you guys face having a back-to-back -back like this? Um, obviously, traveling's not easy. Um, On-the-road games are tough, and then, you know, it's you don't have a lot of time to prep in between games, and you're focused on Chico, and then after that, it's, you have, you know, less than 24 hours to focus and get ready for the next team. Um, so that just comes with being mentally prepared and engaged. Awesome, perfect. I'll ask you a couple quick questions, Catherine. Um, obviously, you guys just finished your first conference road trip. What was that experience like for you as a, as a newcomer to this team, uh, kind of getting an idea of what it's like to travel in the CC2A? Um, it's definitely challenging. Um, you know, it was a long trip down there, um, and it's just, you just have to be more mentally focused and more, more prepared. Do you see a difference in the kind of competition you guys faced in your in your non-conference schedule, and then the way you guys are seeing teams come out and, and uh, play you now that you've begun conference? Um, I mean, we started off the season with some very strong opponents, um, and I think that really helped prepare us for conference. Um, obviously, again, the outcome wasn't what we wanted, but um, I think I think we were definitely prepared. I mean, in that aspect, we have played very high-quality teams, so.